All right, UFC fans, we got another great event for you tomorrow at UFC 260. Now, we need a little bit of anticipation here, Nate, okay? Because this is a big event. This is a big event. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to let you guys know in the nice Bruce Buffer voice that I got right here. Now, I'm not Bruce Buffer over here, but we're going to try something. Ready? Okay. I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, March 27th, 10 p.m. in the UFC Apex Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, we got Stipe Miocic versus Francis Ngannou for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time! I can't do it like him, but hey, I tried, I tried, I tried it, all right? We got Stipe Miocic versus Francis Ngannou for the UFC Undisputed Heavyweight Championship of the World. Let me tell you something, Nate. I'm looking forward to this event. I really am. I really am. I've been, I've been like contemplating like who, who I feel like is gonna win. Okay. Now they face uh, one. What did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. So they uh, faced one time already, and Stipe Miocic won by unanimous decision. And I gotta give Stipe a lot of credit right there in the first fight because that first round, Stipe. He took some shots. Like, he took some shots. Like, Francis Ngannou, let me explain something to you, Nate. I remember Dana White said this in a press conference uh, a couple of years ago. Francis Ngannou, right, his, um, put it this way, he has the power in his fist, right? And you're not going to believe this. But I couldn't believe when I heard it. The power of him punching you in the face is basic. He's, Dana White said it is the same amount of force as you getting hit by a truck. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Stipe Miocic, like I'm the best way I can I can explain it, Nate, is he is the UFC version of Mike Tyson. That is the best way I can explain it. Okay. We have never seen anybody in the UFC with as much power as this guy. And I mean that. Like there are guys in the UFC who have a lot of power. Like obviously, like we look at like the Conor McGregor's and we look at um I'm trying to think. Like I like I know Nate Diaz has a lot of power. Um there's a lot of guys with punching power basically in the UFC. That uh, Cody Garbrandt is another one. I don't think there is a single man in the UFC or in UFC history that has as much power in their fists as Francis Ngannou. I don't think there is, like to be honest with you. Um, but Francis Ngannou, he hit him with some clean shots that first fight, but ended up kind of gassing out, which led to Miocic just taking him down and basically controlling the fight. Um, so Stipe ended up winning that fight. But now, Nate, look. It's been three years since that fight happened, and we are here now. Uh, Francis Ngannou went on a right of a bunch of first-round knockouts to end up getting back to this point. Uh, Stipe Miocic had that trilogy fight with uh, Daniel Cormier, in which uh, he won. So, to be honest with you, Nate, uh, this is a new time. You know, both fighters, I feel like, have evolved since that first fight. Um, Stipe has gotten more experience as a champion. Uh, Stipe has fought a lot more rounds than Francis has still. And to be honest with you, Nate, that's how. That's why I think Stipe Miocic is going to win this fight. I think he's going to win this fight again. Now, let me give you some stats about Stipe Miocic first, and I'll go to Francis Ngannou. So, uh, Stipe is actually a right-handed fighter. Um, his... Striking accuracy is a 52. His takedown average is 1.92 per uh, per fight. His takedown accuracy is a 34%, and his takedown defense is a 70%. And then going to Francis Ngannou. Francis Ngannou, let me tell you something, Nate. He's a, I think he is a very underrated uh, – personally, to be honest with you, I think Francis Ngannou's got more – uh, got more to him just than just power. But obviously, power is the, the biggest thing to Francis. Uh, Francis is also a right-handed fighter. Um, he has a striking accuracy at 37%. He has striking defense of 47%. Uh, takedown accuracy of zero, which is pretty shocking. And he has a takedown defense of 71%. So if you really look at it, like, obviously, like, it doesn't look like Francis Nagano is not the type of guy to take people down, you know? Most of his fights haven't even gone to five rounds, you know? He's only lost three times in his career. I assume those three, a lot of those three uh, times in his career, I don't think he's ever gotten knocked out. So I think those were taking him to the distance. If he did, correct me in the comments, but I don't think it's happened. But, hey, 71% takedown defense, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But here's why I think Stipe is going to win, Nate, okay? So since the, fir the first fight, they've evolved since then. Absolutely, right? Now, quick question. 
has Francis Ngannou ever gone a distance since that fight? No, he's been nope. knocking out every. He since then it's just been a bunch of first round knockouts, second round knockouts. So the question is, when you're in a title fight, you're going five rounds. You're, you're going five rounds. Like it's just as simple as that. Like that's the best it's gonna go is five rounds. Okay, do I think Stipe Miocic is gonna have the is gonna have like is gonna knock him out? No, I don't think that's gonna happen. Why? Because Stipe Miocic he has the power to do it, but it's not his style of fighting. You know, Stipe really knows how to take guys into the later rounds and beat them. He's done it with he uh, last fight he did it with Daniel Cormier. Um, he did it with Stipe Miocic. I'm not. I'm sorry, not Stipe, Excuse me. Oh, uh, Francis Ngannou. Stipe knows how to go to distance and win fights. It's just as simple as that. He knows how to do it. Okay. The question is, I don't think Francis, I don't think Francis has enough experience to go that same or to go that same distance. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's the problem with a lot of power fighters, though, Nate, is because obviously they're the most exciting fighters to watch. Like I think Francis is is a hell of a lot more exciting to watch than Stipe. And and that's no disrespect to Stipe. You know, it's just when you're looking at a guy who's knocking people, who's knocking grown men out cold, you know, and they're not moving. Like you always want to tune into his fights to see when's that when's that gonna happen again. Now don't get me wrong, if Francis Nagano clips Stipe, does uh what do you call it with a with a perfect shot, does Stipe can get knocked out? Absolutely. But here's the thing. I feel like it is a lot harder to land that perfect punch than it is to guard it, you know? Personally, that's how I feel. I feel like if you're gonna sw- if you're gonna land the perfect punch. I feel like that's a lot harder to. I feel that's a, that's a lot harder to do than to defend it. Because Steve, because don't get me wrong, Francis Ngannou can come in, just keep wildly swinging and everything like that. Like last fight he had against uh, Rosenstruck, I think the guy's name or Rosenstruck. That was another big uh, power hit or two, and he and he just kept and he and Francis Ngannou was made swung like a good five or six times, landed like two, and then the guy was knocked out. So that happens, but Steve Miocic is at levels above the last guy he fought. You're not going to, Stipe is not going to like panic and just stay there, you know, and, and back himself up in the cage. I don't think he's going to do that. Stipe, if you leave yourself open, I think Stipe is going to clip him. I do. I think Stipe, I think if he leaves himself open and he like loses his balance, I think Stipe can clip him and knock him down. But I'm not saying like Stipe is going to, gonna what do you call it, beat him by uh, TKO or whatever. I'm going to say Stipe is going to control this fight just like he did in the first fight. Because a lot of people talk about uh, Francis Nagano evolving. Well, Stipe did the same thing. You know, you don't fight Daniel Cormier three times and not evolve. Daniel Cormier is one of the greatest UFC fighters to step in the octagon. You don't just fight him three times and not evolve, especially when you beat him twice, you know? So I think Stipe's intelligence, to be honest with you, like fighting intelligence, I, th- I just think right now it's so high above everybody else in the heavyweight division right now. Until, like, obviously, you know, John Jones is in the heavyweight division now, and that'll be a different topic for a different day. Obviously, he's got great fighting fighter intelligence as well. But let me be honest with you, Nate. I think this fight ends the same way. Stephen Miocic went in by unanimous decision. I think it's going to – I don't think there's going to be no knockouts, okay? I think Francis is going to realize, like, hey, I've been to five rounds before. Like, obviously, I think he'll be in a little bit of a better condition to go five rounds. Like, I don't think it's going to be, like, as lopsided as it was, I don't think. But – but Francis is going to have, I think, I don't think Francis, to be honest with you, I can't see Francis winning a five round fight. The only way Francis is going to win it is if he clips him with a perfect shot and knocks him out. But Hey, I mean, with that being said, Nate, you know, I wish Steve Miocic and uh, Francis Ngannou the best of luck and make sure you guys check that fight out. Um, March 27th, 10 PM. And I'll pass on the unit. Yeah. I'll take it from there. You know, best of luck to fires. Personally, I got Steve a winning too, you know, for the same exact reason. I mean, I look at I look, I listen to everything you said. And I absolutely agree with it, with the power and whatnot. The accuracy is not there in comparison to Stipe's, uh, with Francis. But what, I think about it like that, dude. When you were saying, I was thinking about like the difference between in baseball, like power hitters and contact hitters. Like contact hitters are always getting hits, while power hitters are all constantly swinging for the fences. You know, I mean, that's what I that's what I was thinking about. And obviously, right. I'm comparing Francis as the power hitter and and Stipe as the contact hitter. You know, I mean, who's more likely to get the hit? Stipe, because right. he's the contact hitter. He's not swinging for the fences, but Francis is. So, you know what I mean? But, but I'll tell you what. Like you said, if he clipped him with that one with that one perfect hit, like you said, if, if that if that punch does feel like a truck, which I'm going to be honest, I don't want to have to find out about that unless if I'm being better than a lot of money. 
then he's getting knocked out. But if he's going the distance, like you said, he has uh, Francis hasn't gone the distance in a while. So who knows? Maybe that has an effect on that. But obviously, Steve Bay, like you said, he has a very you know he has a very great way of taking fighters to the distance, and he has a good way of, of taking them down in the process to the distance. So honestly, Mario, I got Steve Bay retaining his title. It's going to be a good fight in Las Vegas. I think it's at the MGM Grand, is it? Um, no, remember they can't be they right now. Well, Dana White's working like with cert, like certain uh, places to get like full crowds back, but right now it's in uh, the UFC Apex Center still, um, oh, okay. Las Vegas. So right now they're doing UFC Apex Center, and then they're doing uh, and then they're doing like Abu Dhabi Fight Island. But like as for the Masvidal and uh and uh, Kamara Usman fight, which is going to be the next event coming up, we'll talk about that when that comes. That's going to be taking place in um uh, in Florida because. Both in, um, Jorge Masvidal and Kamaru Usman are both from Miami, so or both exactly. in Miami or something like that. I can't remember. They both have like some type of connection to Miami, I guess. So they're gonna have that fight in Florida, but this one's gonna be in the UFC Apex Center. Which honestly, Nate, I feel I feel like I feel like this should have been like a fight in Abu Dhabi. You know, yeah. now I don't know like what the whole stipulation is with this is because obviously I'm not Dana White. You know, I. Dana White's like the one promoter. It's not like boxing where you have a bunch of promoters and they got to work stuff out. Like you, Dana White is that one promoter. And obviously if the last, I don't know if the uh, Kevin Holland, Derek Brunson fight night, I don't know if that was in Fight Island or not. If it was, I could understand why he would have to have it in the UFC Apex Center. But if not, I just don't, under, I just don't understand why this couldn't be in Abu Dhabi. But I mean, it doesn't matter where this fight's going to be taking place. It's going to be a good fight. Absolutely agree. So with that being said, best of luck to both fighters. I'm looking forward to watching this uh, fight. It's on ESPN Plus, right? Yep, it is uh, March 27th, 10 p.m. Well, that fight, the fight will actually happen at like around 1 a.m. or whatever. But uh, March 27th, 10 p.m. UFC Apex Center on ESPN Plus and pay per view. Make sure you guys go check that out. It's gonna be a good event.